The St. Louis art community has lost one of its most beloved members. John Pills passed away this week at the age of 82. Photojournalist Brian Ledford takes a look back at the, the local art legend. Well, this was done when I was uh, around 12. We featured artist John Pills in 2014 when he was hanging up his brushes after a career whose seeds were planted in the early 1950s. It was a snow day and I didn't go to school, so I drew the building across the street. That resulted in the foundation of a legacy of artwork that has been displayed in homes and offices over the decades. Black and white, pencil-drawn graphics of local landmarks and cityscapes with splashes of vibrant watercolor were commonplace. He saw things just in a unique way as far as the skylines and horizons, the, the city. He enjoyed working with watercolor. To add that to what would be a, an illustration or a rendering of the city, it just made sense to him. When he put down the pencil and paints, he looked forward to leaving the public eye, although the prints would remain. Everybody knows the artwork, but they don't know the artist. They, they don't recognize the artist. I can go anywhere I want and be, uh, be uh, myself. Pills' background was in interior design, and he took that discipline alongside his artistic flair when he built his custom home two years ago. I was told he didn't like 90 degree angles, so they really limited those on the main level. The basement, he had the wine room, which he designed with corks, 360 degrees and wine floor to ceiling, and he really liked that room. From Eads Bridge to Union Station, from Wash U to the courthouse downtown, Pills's collection left an everlasting impression. He constantly challenged himself to do something that would be of significance for what he would be proud of as an accomplishment, and also that would be significant for, for others featuring a local flavor that appeals to any palate. Key that's going to turn the lock is that if it's part of your neighborhood in there. But if there's a little piece of Ted Drew's in there, that's cool. Brian Ledford, Fox 2 News.